Welcome to week four of the OCC. Today we let the we let our freak flag fly. We got the franchise here with us. Been called out, showed up. I'm the commish, and I've been wrong before. I'm Swam Easy, and I've been wrong before. And I'm the franchise. I'm always wrong. <laughs> Something I've been wrong about all three weeks is the Giants and the Colts cost me six losses. I've yet to pick these guys. Peyton Manning's been playing. Whatever you do, I can do better with Eli. You never go against a Manning. They went back-to-back -back Super Bowls on you. I do believe they'll have a Super Bowl with Manning versus Manning. It's just not going to be this year. Not this year? Not They're both 3-0. and oh. It could be this year. All I got to say is Eli's on cruise control right now. They ain't, got, they, ain't had, they ain't had any competition right now. Eli's on cruise control, but whatever he does, Peyton's doing better. Eli comes back against the Cowboys. Peyton shows up on Monday night and under 15 minutes comes back on Miami. 15 minutes total offense. He's beating them in yards, completion percentage, you name it. Seven touchdowns to Eli's five. Peyton's on fire. Peyton's doing his thing. But Eli's got one thing on his side. He's got good defense, and he's got a running game with two two good backs. Two good backs. And if the Cowboys lose on Monday night, they're in complete control of their division. That's almost a guarantee in the playoffs right there. Yeah. Well, you know, they, there's just no competition for the Manning brothers. No. Double stuff league. No. Twist it, lick it, dunk it. Uh -huh. They uh, pass it, they do it all. And you know who the other Manning is now, don't you? The other man. The other Manning's Peyton, not Eli. Eli's the number one guy. <laughs> Peyton is number two now. No, Peyton's still number one. <laughs> He's got him in all, all stats. He, anything Eli does, Peyton does better. <laughs> what, what we got today with the Titan talk? Well, we're going to talk about the Titans 0-3. It's a terrible thing. I don't believe the Titans will go 0-4 this week, but... 0-3 is not looking good for the playoffs. Nobody makes the playoffs at 0-3. Chances for them. They they could be 1-2 and two if it wasn't for your boy Mouton. My boy Mouton. My boy Mouton right now is on his way to Canada to take Pac Man's spot in the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. <laughs> He's making it rain. Making it rain up in Canada? Can't do that with pennies. He ain't making Penny. enough money. It was raining in New York. If That's he, what caused him the problem. If, if he's going anywhere, he's going home in a cab. Cab. <laughs> he might need to be calling somebody. Somebody <laughs> lay a law on your cell phone. <laughs> he better hope he's on cash cab because that's the only way he's getting any money. Yeah. But you can't totally blame Mouton for that. No. Kerry Collins had, uh, he went one for 13 the last, uh, the last uh, 10 minutes of that game. Are the Titans pushing the panic button? Are we seeing a new quarterback next week? I don't think we see one next week, but if they go 0-4, well, can, you ain't got nothing to lose. It's time to put Vince in there. It's time to push the panic button now. If Kerry don't get off his balls and do his thing, you got to put the... Uh, so I mean, he's calling, calling for him. Oh, yeah. I want Vince in there. If you're going to go 0-4, you might well go 0-4 with Vinny. True. Get him some get, get him some. Get, get him some. Well, they're going to trade him anyway, so you, if he does good, he'll be... He'll increase, his, increase his stock. His value. You know what, <laughs> <laughs> what are you bringing to the... To the show tonight, friend. I tell you what, I want to talk about the New Orleans Saints. The Saints? Unbelievable. Saints. You're Saints, baby. My You're Saints. Saints. You're Saints. They did look good last night. Yeah. I don't I don't want to I don't want to jinx them by going 16 and 0. No, no. I'm gonna cut no undefeated talk. No undefeated talk. I it? believe I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I see him losing maybe two games. But they they do have to play the Jets this year. The, and if anybody's listening. Christmas wish list for the commish. I would like the Mark Sanchez character drawing t-shirt off of NFLshop.com. <laughs> that is tight. <laughs> but the Saints, you know, Breezy, did, did he have a touchdown yesterday? Yeah, he, he had a... Uh, I saw two running touchdowns. I think he threw one touchdown. He threw one. I haven't checked the stats here, but it don't, it don't sure. matter. 27-7. The man's doing it. Yeah. I mean, Breeze, you know... He ain't turning the ball over. It's if, all that matters. If the Saints' D show up, then... That, that's what impressed pretty... me against Buffalo. Yeah. Their defense... The Saints didn't walk away with that game until about no. the fourth quarter. And basically, the defense held the game in check, and Buffalo's defense could not keep up with the Saints' offense. They wore them yeah, out. Exactly. Th those exactly. are the type of games you like to see if you're a Saints fan because you, know, you want to know the defense can hold the team down until Breeze right. gets on. Right. He's not going to go a whole game and not be on. Yeah. So if you got defense holding the seven ten points, that sixteen and zero is looking looking more. Oops, sorry. Don't say that. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Looking more sorry. sweeter and sweeter every time. Well, I think that's all we got for tonight. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week in week five. I'm the commish. 
and I've been wrong before. I'm Swam Easy, and I've been wrong before. And once again, I'm the franchise. I'm always wrong. Except for this week, Mr. Uh, 13 and 13 2. 13 and 2 till Monday night. Go Cowboys. Hey! Aurelia Land, baby, we in the hood. <laughs>